Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Kabuto and Canines. My canines are right now having a bone chew as we speak. Very aggressively going at these ring bones, which I highly recommend for anybody who has uh, chewers in the household. We're going to talk a little bit about nunchucks. I have been doing nunchuck workouts in Kabuto now for only about six months. And the reason is, is uh, I'm from Canada. And in Canada, you can't own nunchucks legally. Um, so when I was learning martial arts in Canada, it was not part of our curriculum. So since I've been in Texas, everything goes here. As people are well aware, there is really no rules on weapons. <laughs> Comparatively, pretty much to anywhere else in the world. I've got four different sets, and each of these come in a set. Um, and on the far left here are basically what I would call like a training nunchuck. And it's something I use for trying out a new technique, something that's, you know, quicker, a little bit more difficult, that uh, I have the more likelihood of striking myself. Um, they're basically rubberized. So they're foam padded. Um, they're lightweight and they're pretty easy to use. They have like this core within them. That's, uh, basically a PVC core with the uh, foam padding and a nylon rope, which I've tied here. And I'll talk about the, the rope planks in a minute. And so this one's a good one to use for just day to day, trying out new things, wanting to do things, you know, quickly or more advanced techniques that, uh, maybe trying for the first time. The ones uh, beside the, the foam chucks here are uh, a red oak, one inch octagonal speed chuck. So these are wood, obviously. And, you know, you can see they're octagonal in design here. They also have three ropes at the top uh, for added, um, basically added uh, wear and tear. They protects them a little bit more. It's a little bit more strength. And, you know, their name implies they're basically for doing things more formally, but for speed at the same time. So I like to use these when I'm testing or demonstrating a kata or just trying to do something quickly and or potentially endurance based where, you know, I'd wear out much more quickly if I was using a heavier, or larger chuck, which brings me to the next chuck. This one here is an ash rounded chuck and rounded is a little bit more, is not an Okinawan style. So the octagonal style is a little bit more traditional Okinawan. Um, the rounded design can be quite nice uh, to hold on to. It's a, it has a little less grip, um, more likely to, to move around. But this, this ash is actually pretty light. It's almost a similar weight, believe it or not, to this speed chuck. Uh, just based on the difference between oak and ash in density. It also has the three cords for added uh, wear and tear durability. So this would be a little bit more for the striking techniques, a little bit more for the, um, you know, combat moves when I'm practicing against my heavy bag. And so uh, they can be, you know, quite fun to use and, and provide a nice thick blunt force when you hit with them. Last ones I have here are, uh, the difference here is that they're, they're also the same diameter as, as, uh, my chucks here, uh, two inch diameter and, um, or one and three quarter inch, I believe. And so they're octagonal. So they're more of the traditional style, uh, but they're 14 inches long and they're also made out of oak or red, red oak. And so these are quite heavy, they're quite big, and these are great for working your forearms, uh, working your fingers and your shoulders, and just generally more for conditioning. They can also be helpful to have that extra length when you're doing cross body transfers or switches where you need a little bit more length uh, to catch the, the chuck. And so I don't use these very often, but uh, when I do, they definitely give me a forearm workout. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that all of them are tied about the same distance on the tops here. 
And the, each of these, if I spread them out, are somewhere in the order of about four inches in width at the top. And that's pretty close to about the size of my knuckle. And this is a, a general rule for the length of your rope when using a nunchuck. Too long and it becomes a little unwieldy, too short, and the chuck doesn't move very easily. So uh, general rule of thumb is to keep them about four inches or about the, the, uh, the width of your fist. The length should be about 12 inches. And unless you want to get a little crazy with the 14 inch. And the width anywhere between probably one and a half to two inches. So generally speaking, these are the chucks I use. They're a lot of fun to use. The reason why they're called nunchucks is because nun in, um, in uh, Chinese means two and chucks was a unit of measurement. So it's a chuck is about the, the measurement of a foot. So you've got two feet basically, and it's tied by a string. So those are my nunchucks. I use them almost every other day uh, to practice techniques, which uh, I'll be showing here in the next video.